This does not feel like. No, like roll like, it like this. It, roll, babe. It's there's no rolling. <laughs> it's not rolling. <laughs> no. Hey, I right. failed. Well, so it's currently 5:30 in the morning. Taylor's still asleep. I woke up to try and get to my class, but my class is at 5.30, so I missed that. Come on, girl. Let her run in. So I missed my 5.30 a.m. class, so I'm just gonna get a quick workout in. Problem is, 5.30 a.m. is such an early class. It's gonna be dark for a minute. I could do like a 6.30 class, that'd be so much easier for me. But uh, 5.30 is tough. It means I have to wake up at five. So, that makes things a little difficult. So I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna have a workout. And uh, get ready for the day. today a little bit chilly it's a nice brisk morning I love that still early early in the mornings all right let's crush this workout
I'm gonna go see mama. Let's go see mama's wig. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Morning. You sleep good? My hair's all crazy. Yes, I need to work on that today. I'm gonna get some coffee going. And it's a bit brisk outside, so I can put a fire on. But we gotta leave at four o'clock today, or three o'clock, right? Yeah, I can do a fire, baby. Okay. I'm gonna get you some coffee going, and then we'll, uh, Start getting to work. Good morning! Welcome back to another vlog, another day. I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup. Dylan and I have some errands to go run and do, as well as some work outings really quickly. So I have about 20 minutes, so let's go ahead and get going. I'm not going to do anything too crazy either. Um, and if I am looking this direction, it's because my mirror is over here. Let me turn it on. There we go. Want some moisturizer. Is everybody ready for Christmas? I am, I think, ready at this point. The crazy part about it is Dylan and I, our wedding anniversary is December 23rd which is two days before Christmas, obviously. It just makes December a very busy month because my birthday is also in December. So yeah, between Christmas, wedding anniversary, and my birthday, it's a lot. It's a lot to remember, a lot, there's a lot to do. I'm just doing basic um, moisturizer, nothing too crazy. This is literally what I do every single day. So, oh, and then here's Mrs. Hera back here. She is hunting squirrels outside. <laughs> it's literally adorable. Oh, oops. Let's mix this in. But yeah, is everyone ready for Christmas? I know it's right around the corner. We are definitely ready. We're also ready for the new year. We have lots going on and plans for the upcoming year, so that's exciting. Next, I do like to put on some primer before I put on my makeup fan it a little bit. I usually use this fan off of Amazon. Um, I can't even remember what it's called, but oh, my hands are slippery. There we go. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's portable. You can throw it in your purse. Um, whenever it's hot outside, it's very useful. <laughs> But yeah, it's also useful for this as well. Bye. 
love you. Love you, Oh, and also, real quick, um, when do you guys take your Christmas decor down? So everyone talks about the trend of when we all put it up, but no one talks about when they actually take it down. I take it down differently every single year, like at different times of the year. So sometimes we wait until New Year's. Oh, hi. All right, go lay down. Go lay down. Sometimes we wait until New Year's is over or sometimes we take it off before then, um, take it down before then. Um, it just really depends on, you know, what we have going on schedule wise. But yeah, I've been very curious. Like, do people leave it on mid January or leave it on all of January? Leave it out all of January. What do you guys do? Comment below. Let us know. Let me know, really, because I'm just curious. We never really talk about that, you know? So, first thing I'm going to use is um, just the Tarte concealer. I don't know if you can see it. I hope it's focusing. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I'm just going to put this around my under eyes. Um, everywhere. In my T-zone. Down the bridge of my nose. And then I have a few blemishes down here that I need to conceal. Also, with that being said, what are everyone's New Year's plans? We really, I think, I mean, we don't really have anything going on this year, but I'm thinking we're just going to do like fireworks, um, maybe have a few people over, nothing too crazy. But what is everyone else doing for New Year's? What are y'all doing New Year's night, like New Year's Eve? Next, I'm just going to put on some CC cream um, in the shade Fair Light. And dab, 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 dab. Today, um, we have some work stuff to go and handle, as well as running a couple errands. One of my clients just closed on a home here in Texas, and... They are from California, and no, that is not the state that sent us most business this past year, or even the year before. Honestly, most clients come from the east side of the United States. Um, I've seen a lot of clients this year coming from New Jersey, Florida, We've had some coming from Virginia, but yeah, the, this set of clients came from California. They're very excited. I think one of them actually was originally from the Houston area, which is really cool. Oh, and if you don't know, I'm a, I'm a real estate agent in the state of Texas. So that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, they, I have their keys and they're officially moving in today. So this afternoon I am going to bring them their keys and a little closing gift and say hello and congratulations. Dylan is going to go with me because we have other construction stuff going on that we need to take care of and just kind of run, run by the job site and make sure everything's on track as far as timing goes. So we're going to go do a little bit of that this afternoon. Okay, next product I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty um, Cream Bronzer. Typically I apply this with a brush and I just put it on cheekbones. I always kind of, I mean, as you guys see, I'm kind of going upward in an upward motion to lift the face. And applying this cream bronzer first, I have found that it actually allows for the powder bronzer that I put on, put on over 
um, to stick better. So that's cool. That's helpful. I'm actually going to use um, the Fenty Beauty. I don't know if you can see the label. There we go. The Fenty Beauty Stick Bronzer on the neck area. I like to kind of contour this area just to snatch it up a little bit. Hera, that's enough. We have squirrels outside. She's literally obsessed. But we think it's cute and we let her hang out with them and and such. Hera. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is the Revolution. It's like a concealer baking powder um, in the shade Banana. So I'm just going to basically set my under eyes. Um, I do like to put it on like kind of all of the areas that I put the concealer. So what are everyone's 2024 goals this year? Is anybody doing anything that takes them out of their comfort zone? Um, anything they didn't do last year that they hope they stick to this year? We have started our goals resolution list, but we haven't really perfected it just yet. Um, obviously, placing content out for you guys and starting our YouTube channel is something that is very important and dear to us. Um, we've been told by a lot of our friends that we and family members that we should start a YouTube channel. And... There are several reasons, I guess Dylan and I can kind of elaborate later on, as to why we took four years to finally take their advice and get started. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, I will say, to like have full-time businesses and full-time careers and also do YouTube. Um, but I mean, nothing worth having is easy anyways. But that's really one of the biggest reasons why? Because there's a lot of back-end work to having a YouTube channel. YouTubers really truly know what I'm talking about whenever I say that. Um, and I'm not saying like we're already YouTubers and we know the ins and outs and how hard this is going to be or anything like that. I'm just saying, um, you know, we're getting the gist of it. Like even opening the channel, editing videos making content, um, all of that good stuff. Shoot, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, powder bronzer. Yeah, we're excited. We have a lot of ideas. We wanna take you guys on our journey. And I'm just using the Morphe bronzer powder. I've been using it for a very long time now. It's my favorite powdered bronzer. Let me move this back a little bit. But no, we're very excited to have the YouTube channel and to have memories to look back on. Um, we've been uh, waiting for this moment. We just had to find the right time, I guess you could say, in our relationship, in our life, um, in our careers. So we're excited. We hope you guys enjoy, you know, all of our content and what we'd like to share with y'all. After I put on bronzer, I like to kind of snatch it up a little bit with the banana powder. You can use translucent powder. I have that as well. Um, but today I'm feeling like this is actually a little bit better. And I'm no expert at makeup, you guys. I'm just showing you what I do on a daily basis. There's, you know, professionals that you can watch if you want to learn <laughs> all the techniques. Okay, this is just what works for me. Go ahead and start with my eyebrows now. Um, I just use the Wet n Wild stick because I typically don't always do my eyebrows. Um, and I, yeah, I don't get my eyebrows like laminated or tinted or anything, um, but this does help a little bit. Um, it's really hard to do on camera. That's why typically a lot of people do it off camera. 
So just bear with me on this moment because I don't want them to look uneven. One thing about having lashes, and I love them like because I don't really wear makeup every day, um, but one thing about having them is you, the other side is like a little spooly. Um, you can't really like do eyeliner and a lot of eyeshadow all the time. I mean, you can, but it ruins your lashes um, quickly. And I like for mine to last a while because I like to just go in about twice a month to get my lashes refilled. And that's why I don't really wear any eyeshadow or I don't do my eyebrows all the time. I don't wear eyeliner anymore. If I do wear an eyeliner, I usually just put it in my waterline or this waterline up top just to add um, more to the look depending on what I have going on that day. But yeah, that's really all I do with my eyebrows. Nothing crazy. But I need to, speaking of my lashes, I need to go ahead and just brush them before we start on my lips. So it's like 45 here, or actually, wait, I think it's, hey Siri. Uh-huh. What's the weather outside? It's currently cloudy and 58 degrees. Okay. Temperatures are heading down from 58 to 50 degrees tonight. Okay, so it's 58 degrees actually, um, which is not too cold, but it is a little chilly, so I'll probably have to put on something a little bit, you know, just warmer today. I cannot find, oh, there it is. Okay, so what I typically do for my lips, um, I take, uh-oh, Hera, leave it alone. I take my bronzing palette the powder one and i outline oh hang on one second let me close this window hang on one second So usually I take this bronzing palette or whatever bronzing palette. This is my favorite one just because it's the um, best shade for my skin, I think. Um, but anyways, I take a little brush and I just outline my lips just to add that contour effect and plump effect. Hera, that's enough. No. Okay, we may have to really. That's enough. Hera, no more. We have a Connie Corso. Very large, sweet puppy. If you guys didn't know that. Her name is Hera. She will be three in February. She's literally the best. Next, I'm just going to do a little bit of blush before I finish my lips, but that's because I never go in order. This is honestly really impressive that I'm kind of going in order, order as I'm on a camera because I usually Oh, and I just go over the bridge of my nose just to kind of add a little bit more of that blush effect. I usually am all over the place and I usually have like five minutes to do my makeup because I'm one of those where I procrastinate. When I know I have to leave at a certain time, I wait until like 30 minutes before that actual time, which is not good, but that's really truly who I am. Um, okay, so let me put on some lip liner. Um, I'm just using the Nude Beige NYX pencil. This is literally my everyday look, you guys. It's nothing new. 
Sometimes I do a little bit of glam, um, but it just depends on what we have going on. But this is what I love to do every single day. Not every single day, because I don't wear makeup every single day, but this is what I love to do most of the time when I'm putting on makeup daily, like daily makeup. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of, everyone's using that e.l.f. stained stuff right now. It works good, but it made my lips really dry. Um, personally, I didn't really enjoy it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a normal nude lipstick. Okay, there's that. I, after this, I'm going to get dressed and then we have to get going. Um, I think that looks good for now. I'm not going to do any bottom mascara today because I don't always wear that. And okay, so real quick, I'm just going to put some Jaclyn Hill highlighter on the bridge of my nose, at the tip of my nose as well to finish the look off. I'm just using like a little puffy brush. Sometimes I put it in the inner corner of my eye. Sometimes I don't. There we go. It's a little bit brighter. All right, guys. Here's the finished look. Okay. See you in the car. Hey, y'all. So hey. We are running an errand really quick. Um, like I said before this morning, we are letting some clients, oh, I know it's like really bumpy, hang on. We are taking clients their keys on the home that they just closed on. Um, yeah, we have everything in here. I need to go get a closing gift if we could though, really quickly. I used to have like, um, what's it called, this little, closing bins remember those leather, leather ones they were wine holders yes yeah, for wine bottles i need to get some more of those they were really really cool i got them from kirkland's and every single closing people really appreciated them but anyways that's neither here or there she bought out the whole stock because they're on clearance and basically we can't find them again <laughs> i'm sorry if it's really bumpy our neighborhood on your way out has speed bumps and yeah it's um, I'm not really sure if they drink, so I don't know if I should get them some wine or what. It's crazy whenever I'll say this. Some of my closings throughout um, my career, I've never met the client before, ever. And literally like today when I'm bringing them their keys or at closing, that's the first time I've ever met them. So I don't really know much about them. So sometimes getting them like a bottle of champagne or something, I just kind of like you know, I'm very unsure about what they like, um, what their interests are and so forth. So, but I usually just wing it anyways. I think a bottle of champagne's good right now um, yeah. because it's Christmas and like, you know, they can bring it if they don't drink, they can bring it to a party right. or something. Okay, let's just family. do that. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Yeah. We're going to our HEB to get said bottle. Um, HEB is a Texas based grocery store for right. those of y'all who are not in Texas. The best grocery store there is. Maybe biased because we're Texan. Yeah, <laughs> but I think if we ever move someday, we'll be really sad without our HEB. I know it sounds silly, but as Texans, if you know, you know. And that's all that matters. So anyways, that's what we're doing. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, do we have to run by that job site for that one family? with the patio we're gonna talk to them about their deck oh crap i was supposed to text them i'll do that when we get to hb -E okay yeah text them um we don't really have that much going on right now just because it's the end of the year we still do have a lot going on oh look at our lake isn't that beautiful so pretty um so we have a lot going on but not as much i think we're just trying to wrap up the end of the year we're super ready for 2024. 
Um, but I kind of wanted us to pop on here and explain to them why we're starting a YouTube channel, what was the reason for us taking so long to start the YouTube channel, um, because lots of people were telling us to do it throughout our entire relationship. And I do want to explain a little bit and get a little vulnerable about it. So, okay. Do you want to start? Why? What was the first question? Um, why are we wanting to start a YouTube channel? I think that was the first question. <laughs> Well, we've kind of always just been like directed from like our friends and our close loved ones that totally. we just have that um, creative like thing about us that we should just share with the world. Right. So, you know, that's kind of always been in the back of our head, just like pushing us a little bit, pushing us slowly, but pushing us. <laughs> and I think like... Um, you know, we would go to like a certain appointment and meet someone, re whether it was business or personal or just whatever it may be. And we love to make those connections. Dylan and I are very, um, I think we're very personal type souls. And throughout those connections and introductions, people would always say, wow, y'all have a lot going on. Like, why don't y'all share it with everyone? Some of that stuff is really helpful for people that are thinking of getting into those industries and just so forth. And we were like, yeah, that's a great idea. Like, we would love to do that. But then there's also all of the back end that comes with that. And for us, it was really about like, do we have time to be able to edit? And that was the big thing of why it took us so long. Yeah. Because we are trying to like grow our businesses. Um, right. And so time was ahead of us, I yeah. think. And it, you know, it was just something that um, we have been building, you know, like we, that's all we've been doing for four years of being together is like, just oh, building. Yeah. We have a ton of footage. <laughs> yeah, we have footage. We've gone different places together and we've you know, done different things and we've recorded, not every single thing we've done, but we've recorded for the most part. It's just, I think the back end of it was a little intimidating. Do, can we make time for this? It's basically learning a whole new career. Like, right. uh, you, you think like YouTubing is easy, but um, no. you're, Starting a YouTube channel is basically like starting a media company. You are right. you are starting a full media production company. And that's no easy feat at all. Right. And yeah, it's a, it's basically just trying to learn a whole new career and trying to do that on top of growing our, all of our other businesses is yeah, that was a uh, it, it was it was a uh, overwhelming thought, but which we're still doing. We're still building those businesses, and we're still starting from scratch with all of that. Um, we still have new ones to come in in 2024, and you know, so we're really kind of throwing YouTube in our business with YouTube because that's really what it is at the end of the day. We're really throwing that into the mix and adding that as another like business platform. So because we found like. I don't know, everybody kind of dealt with the same thing during COVID. We all kind of, you know, like turned into hermits and everything. And right. it, uh, we definitely experienced that. And, yeah. um, you know, we're trying to, just like the rest of the world, we're trying to get back out there as well. And like, you know, we, we found our strength and in, in to where we can talk ourselves out of that being an overwhelming thought because that's not really like us either one of us we're so strong and driven that we normally wouldn't put something off like that like totally. normally would tackle it head on and um yeah so you know we found our strength again and we're we're tackling it head on <laughs> so here we go yeah so i think like you know all that being said time was the biggest factor i think for me the next factor was the vulnerability um, that it takes to have every ounce of your life <laughs> and your businesses and who you are, your personality, your family um, on the internet. Um, that's a big deal for most people. Um, you know, I know obviously this isn't real life. We're going to play, post this I mean, this is real life. We're gonna post this footage and this is what we're doing right now. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we're going to post this and obviously that's our real life. But you guys aren't seeing every ounce of our real life, which I think I had to get over that fear that like, hey, you know, it's not like we're 
live all the time and people are walking around behind us with a video camera every ounce of every day and you know um that was something that i was in my head about i think more than you Mm -hmm. And it was kind of making me very nervous to like constantly have to be in front of a camera. Um, not that I'm not comfortable with being in front of a camera, but more so putting it all out there all the time is what I'm trying to say. Um, seemed a little bit overwhelming for me. In fact, I got um, everything, some champagne. Um, should I just leave everything in the bag and then we'll get it out when we get there? You can write in his card. Oh yeah, I need to write in the card too, but let me call this client really quickly. So where were we before we went inside HEB? We were basically telling them why we didn't start the YouTube channel for quite some time. Okay. Um, so yeah, none of that matters now. Those were all feelings. We were basically in our own way. Um, you know, obviously some of those were valid, but yeah, here we are. We're so excited, you guys. We have so much to share with y'all. We're ready to connect with you guys, build those relationships, hopefully have a little community one day. Um, we need all the support we can get, so we're here for it. We hope you guys are too. Um, what about you, honey? All the same? Absolutely. We're super interested in trying to just, you know, find like-minded people and that want to grow with us and uh yeah because i mean this channel is not all just vlogging we're definitely right. going to be doing things that are out of our comfort zone things we've never um you know done before we'll share the, those journeys with you guys and obviously like work related stuff we want to go ahead and share our careers and share everything that we do with our jobs i think they're very interesting especially if you have like an entrepreneur mindset and you're thinking of getting into either real estate construction insurance all that good stuff right now we're heading to bring these keys like we've said a million times obviously um after that we do have a challenge a baking challenge so i think at this point we're here we're ready we're gonna start posting content bear with us don't make fun of us we're still learning we'll get there and yeah i think we're we're ready to do that but anyway <coughs> i'm gonna drink hang on i have a tickle in my throat tickle tickle I think we're just still in the process of building so many things and learning so many things and that's the beauty of life I believe and I think you think the same way um, there's so much to learn and so much to do and um, especially when you're still like in your 30s trying to find out who you really are and what what really makes you happy and things like that so right now we're just still driving here in Texas all of the highways are pretty big but somehow we still have lots of traffic yeah. houston i mean so for us like we have a pretty good drive when we're driving into the city especially like like right now it's what time is it 3 44 on what day is it a tuesday tuesday so it's rush hour there's lots of people it's the holiday season so we're kind of in traffic which gives us time to talk to you guys so that's cool Sorry, that truck is pretty loud. And yes, there are a lot of trucks in Texas, but we're not all hillbillies, <laughs> like everyone thinks. But anyway, um, yeah, so. Riding horses. No, we don't ride any horses. I mean, some people do, but I don't, I think everybody's kind of upgraded to like a car or a bus, school and stuff. Those myths and such are hilarious. It's 2024 almost, but anyway, but this is our yes, yes year coming up in 2024. Uh, we are gonna start saying yes to more things, being a little bit more adventurous, getting out of our comfort zone and so forth. All right, we're here. We'll drop off. We just dropped those packages off. All those packages were here. And here's TT. Yeah. A present. I'll give you a, show y'all a quick little toy. It's a cute little home. The quartz, quartz countertop. We did their garage floor. 
um, like epoxy. Woo, that was bright. Oh, we got some lights in here. Oh yeah, they sell automatic lights. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, look at that epoxy job. going to do the baking challenge where I am going to have headphones on the entire time listening to music and I'm gonna have a blindfold this cute little blindfold we got and he's going to be blindfolded the entire time and the entire time basically I'm going to be giving him instructions so wish us luck we're gonna try to bake chocolate chip cookies sugar cookies nothing too fancy <laughs> and see how it turns out in the end I don't bake, by the way. I never bake nothing, so. Oh yeah, you have Let's it. do this blindfolded. So I'm gonna turn on the music and then we'll get started. Okay. All right. I'll give you a thumbs up. Keep those on. Okay. And so I can tell you my music. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I can still hear you though. All righty. Okay, go. I gotta turn it up. Oh no. There it goes. You know what I just realized? Oh, I can't nice. move around that much with this big thing. Oh yeah, I can. It's fine. Everything's fine. Can you still, you got music on? Um, she's got music on. I can't hear you if you're talking to me at all. So let's start off with the, am I screaming? Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's start off with the Since chocolate like chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. This is kind of weird. I'm looking at you like wanting to look in your eyes. But I, I can't. I have my eyes closed, okay. which is weird because, you know. Did you heat the cold. oven? You did, yes. The oven was preheating. I can't hear you at all. Did you heat the oven? Yeah. <laughs> the oven's preheating. Uh, all right, so you're going to stir the first amount of cookie mix. Dang, I should have got a good look at what was in front of me. Okay, first you Man. have to mix your wet ingredients. Which first. bowl? Not your dry ingredients. Okay. You're gonna, Come on. you're gonna do one cookie flavor in one bowl and then one cookie flavor in the other bowl. Okay, uh, okay gotcha, gotcha. So let's first start with our wet ingredients in one bowl. Wet. The first ingredient you're going to need is softened butter. This is You're some going butter. to need one whole stick of butter. Oh, got porcelain. One whole stick? One entire stick of butter. Okay. In the bowl. So. <laughs> You have to take it out of the plastic. Can I give this back? I want to break it. <laughs> that scared me. Okay. Next year. Alright. I got this. This is just opening butter. No big deal. Okay, and then after you're done doing... This bowl? The one stick of butter. This bowl? Uh, yeah, put that whole stick in the bowl. Make sure we don't get no plastic up in there. It's a baby. Can Come you on, hear girl. the music? No, but you can sing it. Sing it, girl. I can't hear you. I hope you can hear the music. Oh man, I feel like I'm getting plastic all in there. If you won't be here next year. Got the trash. All right, so now you're going to add a... Can I get a napkin? You have to Can come do napkin? it. Oh wait, I have to a give napkin? it to you. Okay, here, just add one egg. Oh shoot. Into... I got butter fingers. Do you have a napkin? You napkin. just need one egg. A napkin? You have a napkin? 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 A napkin? Yeah, 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 yeah oh, Okay. <laughs> oh shoot. Here, just use this towel. Okay. Okay, you're gonna need one whole wait, wait, egg. Wait, 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 wait. You're gonna put these eggs down. Because I got butter fingers. Hold on, so I'll okay. drop that egg. You can't hear me anyways. What a lot for Christmas. Talking to myself about my butter you're fingers. You're gonna use one whole egg into okay. the bowl. Oh, that's the wrong bowl. In that bowl. This bowl. Okay. That went in. Oh, here. Put it on this. All I want. Can you hear the music? I can hear a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, now you're going to mix this dough into the bowl. Put that in there. Oh, no, 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 no. First, mix your wet ingredients together. Hang on. Hey, I feel like, oh, that's There's some plastic. There's paper in the butter. I don't, I don't want to mix that up. Hold this. Let me put the, oh, shoot. I didn't put the, what Where is my this called? Here? Hang on, here. my music went down. Okay. We're a mess. Hey, at least okay. I cut that Can paper. Can I see this, please? Hold it tight. Shh, I'm sleeping. All right. 
Let me plug it in for you. Oh my god. Should we be using electric tools blindfolded? Oh, you can't hear me. Okay. This is wonderful. Now, slow, like Ooh. on low, remember? This one? No, oh, so that's eject. Low is one right here. Put this in there first. Put this in the bowl. Show me the button, show me the button. Show me the button. Put that in the bowl first. Okay, well, you're probably right. All the way down. Now put it on low. One click left, right. One click, one little click. What's happening? Just mix it all the way around. It's working or not? No, it's the same. Mas o menos or no? You have to like no mix good? with your wrist. I'm... There you go, like all the way around the bowl. Ooh, okay. There you go, now you're okay. actually mixing. It's working. Okay. It's okay, it's a little bit too bark for me. So, should be all right. Still going. What am I mixing? Hello? What am I doing? I don't know what you're saying. What am I doing? You keep going until all of it is mixed together. Still? Need a progress report? It's not softened yet. Maybe take it up a little bit. More? Keep them in the mixture. There you go. You have to keep it in the mixture. Was it like... Let's keep doing it? Oh my goodness. This is a workout. I feel like I'm not doing anything. Like I'm just beating this. No, I'm just dancing. All right, now you need to grab your, you're gonna need that still. So don't like take that off. Or maybe you can take it out for right now like that. The bowls are about to fall. You're pushing the bowl. Come back over here this way. There you go. All right, so now you're gonna need to put your bag of cookie dough in the mixture. What do I do with this? Do you want me to open it or you got it? I got this here. All right, you're gonna pour all of that in the mixture. Oh, hi here, what is it? Oh yeah, I just made all that. Now mix all that around. Same? This? With this? I'm just gonna go for it. Oh shit, fucky mushrooms. Fucky mushrooms, folks. Is not what we're making. Slow it down, slow it down. That's the only one. You're making a huge That's mess one. right now. That's one. That's level one. I don't know what you're saying. It's level one. Okay, we have level a mess. One. Why don't you, hold on. We need to add some milk or something. Yeah, I think so. Here, this is add just a little bit of milk. And, there's no way. Keep that in there, but add a little bit of milk. I love Kelly Clarkson. Add some milk. Where's that milk? You have to fill for it. You're close. How much? I'll tell you when to stop. All right, I like that. Pour it. I'm shaking. That's good. That's good. Ah. All right, now mix that around. Keep it in there strong. Still working now. All the way on the wall. Just on all the way up the wall. Just the butter on the top and everything. I don't know, you're almost done. That looks really good. Oh, <laughs> I like that. You know. She got Christmas music playing. You got that. Normally people sing that song with you. You're singing it. That sounds great. That sounds great. Sounds good. Alright, you're gonna have to guess what it is that I got you. Get on the wall. Papa Chico, cheers, baby. Ooh, cheers. cheers. Oh, that's the best. Thank you. Thank you. I think I got no sign language left. More. Keep going. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was thank you in sign language. I might be wrong. Alright, stop it. I'm Let me know good. if I'm wrong. Stop now. Okay, now you need to get all of the stuff off of the sticks of the mixer. There's like a lot of stuff. I would do one at a time. There's like a lot on there. Woo! Like hibachi. Here, I can take those. I'll take them, honey. Burning knives. No, yeah, it's, it's messy. Good. I'll make a mess. So now you need to put little balls. On this cookie sheet now, right next to you. So leave it down. Leave the bowl down. Okay. Let me unplug this out of your way real quick. Okay. Let me see. You need to open this plug. Okay. I'll take this out. Use this. No. What is this? Use this. What is this? Use an ice cream scooper. Ice cream scooper. Ooh. Oh wait, we need to oil the pan. Hold okay. on. Okay. So oil the pan. A little bit on the pan. Paper towel? I'll get you a piece of paper towel. This pan? Yeah, that's the pan that you're gonna use. Here's the paper towel. 
Why are you putting it on the paper towel? It'll help me spread it easier. I guess I can't hear you. I don't know my Maxine question. I don't know if I'm pouring it or not. So it doesn't all pour out too fast and spread it easier. You see what I'm saying? Paper towel. That's enough oil. That's a lot of oil. I think you're good. Just put that all over the sheet. Okay. I couldn't tell. I mean, I don't know. And then you're going to use this ice cream scooper to get little balls out and you're going to set the balls on Looks the cookie good. sheet. Yeah. It looks great. Here, I'll take your trash. Okay. Okay. Oh, Hera. Here's the cookie sheet. Am I still screaming at you? Yes. The whole video? Yes. Oh okay. God. That's awful. <laughs> That's okay. Here. No, oh, no, no. You're going to leave the bowl on the ground. Okay. You're going to, when you scoop it with the ice cream scooper, uh -huh. you're going to use the other hand to kind of cup it because you're making balls. Ooh. So scoop it with the scooper and then roll the balls with your hands. Here, take your wedding ring off. Yeah. For some reason Here's I feel like I have scooper. a far way to walk, but I guess I don't. All right. I'm not walking anywhere. This feels like mush. That's not enough. Like, the whole thing needs to be full. That's good. Okay, that's a lot. Um, dab it on the thing a little bit. Of uh, like a little bit more. Use my hand. Huh? Use my hand. It's too like fill it. Touch the dough, but see how it's too runny. Ew. What's wrong with it? It's too runny. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't know. Flour. Flour. <laughs> flour. You don't have flour. I mean, uh, I guess essentially you do, but you just add more dough. That's gross. Here, let me see. I don't think that's Move right. Your hands. What happened? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Flour? Here, hold the ice cream scooper. Let me see if I can help. Hang on. I'm not supposed to be helping. Do we just put it on there then? We can't cheat. We can't help. It wasn't mixed all the way. Mixed? Mixed all the way. Oh, I, I gotta mix it more? It's still very runny, but good luck. Can we weren't supposed it? to add milk. No milk? No. Go oh ahead goodness. and. Should we put this? sugar cookies in there why not right i don't know is it gonna taste weird do you think what was this one with the chocolate chip let's do it <laughs> let's do it okay i gotta mix it here i'll hold this you do it i'm gonna wash my hands off i wash your hands my kid bro i know my kitchen i know why i could walk through this whole house like this <laughs> i don't think we were supposed to put milk probably oh no milk. All right, I'm back. Yeah, no milk. Let's put this over here. Maybe add some of uh, uh, this. Just tied on my eyeballs. Ooh. Here. Ooh. There you go. It's already starting to rip. You're gonna put that in there. And I have to switch bowls. Should I get the bigger bowl before you put that in there? Get the big bowl. Okay, hang on. Switch so me. let's put every all of this. Put that in all the way. We're gonna need more butter. Oh my god, that's so many cookies. Let me see in the bag. Um, should we just do this one and not mess up this thing, this batch and just throw this batch away or try to mix it? I think we should try to mix it. Okay, I think we should, all right, here. I think we should just consol you consolidate the two. Yeah. See what happens. Should I help you and hold it? I hate that I can't help you. It's driving me crazy. I <laughs> know. You're so sweet. Oh, my baby. You're so sweet to me. Let me see if you have all of it. I can't tell. I think that's good. Oh my God. Here, let me just get this. Now you need that mixer again. Give oh. me the, hey, wait. Give me the hand one. Here, the hold this. Hand, hand one. Huh? The, the hand mixer. A wix? Yeah. Yes, the one with the hand, the wix. Whoa, no, powder's no, no. going everywhere. We need more butter. Oh, that looks terrible. We need more butter or an egg. What are you? An egg. Oh, an, an egg. Let's do an egg. Here. The Christmas tree. Okay, you can put it down. Thank you. All right, you're going to have to really mix this together right. with that thing. Because right now it's not doing anything. I've never had a sugar cookie slash chocolate chip cookie, have you? Never. This will be a first. I feel like powder just went everywhere. I hope it tastes good. I'm open to trying it though. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, honey, move this way a little bit. My pan's falling off. I don't know where I'm going. I think you're gonna need the mixer. It's like not mixing. Here, you're gonna, it's gonna break. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got stuff on me. I'm not getting messy today, baby. Just hammer. 
Oh, there's the hair girl. Yeah, you're gonna need the mixer a little okay. bit at least. Alright, give me the mixer. Yeah. Here, hold this mixer. Where are the mixers? Oh, no, shoot. We put them in the sink already. You're gonna have to use this. Let me see. Here, use this. It's not a mixer, it's like a cake thing. So kind of like toss everything. Good. Now get the walls. No, don't mix it. You're just tossing it like, like cake batter. I'm tossing like it. Like that, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Perfect. Okay. Good hey, job. Oh yeah, girl. That's good. That's fine. Let me get this all off of here. Hey, that's pretty good. Now use this ice cream scooper again and then put it on your pan. Little balls. Uh, I was just sitting there licking my hands, but it's just us. It's all right. I'll wipe it off a little bit. Ice cream scoop. Okay. Fuck it. No, no. You gotta like put it in your hand, all that batter. Put that in your hand and roll it into a ball. If you're making like breakfast sausage. All right. <laughs> roll it into a ball. Oh, yeah. This is not feel like no like it's roll right. it like this it, roll babe it's there's no rolling <laughs> it's not rolling <laughs> no hey i think we right. failed wow i think we failed okay okay look okay get off my hand and put it in a ball put it in a ball what do you mean put it in a ball get it in a ball put it in a ball oh you can hear me where's the thing at the pan right yeah. here Okay. No, no, this looks crazy. No, look, that, that'll no, work, right? That's so tiny. Is it? Well, like, that's like I still nothing. had a lot of my hands. <laughs> this is definitely cheating because you can hear me. I know, but like, I, it's so bad. <laughs> where's the? Where's my ball? Where's my ball? If you're gonna cheat, then direct me a little bit. <laughs> Hang on, wait. I'm just gonna start grabbing it with my hands no, and no, putting no. little balls. No, but like, I think if we continue to do this, Dylan. Yes. It's not going to work. Okay. This what mixture. Do I have to do? is too runny oh yeah okay <laughs> so we can't keep moving forward this i i knew it Im immediately <gasps> i was like this is not cookies <laughs> so take your blindfold away you can't here let me just show you what we're messing with you ready okay oh my eyes are not adjusting <laughs> my big girl all right get down sit go. actually pretty that's actually pre pretty close that's not bad well i think it's a big fail so, what do you want to do? I don't know if we can fix this. We have all of our cookie dough in one bowl at this point. What makes, um, is it flour or baking Here, powder? go wash your hands. Flour or baking powder? I don't know, because now I'm looking at it and the consistency doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I know, it doesn't look that bad and there's still powder in there. We just need to stir it up a little better. Okay, let me try to do that real quick and let's see if we can save this right now. We have no product. Here, can you wash this off of that? And I'm gonna try to... Yes, Chef. I'm gonna try to switch this around a little bit more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's starting to look way better. Throw that in there. Oh, oh God. Okay. Can we take some of this running Hey, stuff other too? people cheated on this part too. No, 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 just leave that alone. Let's just work with what we have. Other people cheated on this part too. How do you know? Because they did. I watched on the challenges. So, <laughs> no, like they said it. They oh. were like, hey, we're gonna just do this part together and not, because this is like the hardest part. It's all of us, honestly. No, that wasn't too bad, I don't think. Okay, can we get this off? All right, Del. Huh. Use this and scoop out a scoop. It doesn't have to be clean. You're gonna be dirty. Just well, scoop. I was gonna. We don't have no oil on there now. Just wipe it off. No, the oil's fine. Just scoop that. Now wrap. Put it in your hands and make a ball. Do you want me to do it? It's not balling. This is as good as it's gonna get. I cannot make like a ball or it's Here, let me take sticking off to my, my hand, baby. Is what I'm saying. Look, it's not dough, baby. It's not balling. You have to just drop it on there. And try to do that. Because it's not balling. So we gotta just. Scoop it out. All right, go wash your hands. Oh, Stop sorry. making me do this. Go wash your hands. <laughs> now remember, this is like half sugar cookie and half chocolate. I know. Chocolate it chocolate. might actually be delicious. You think so? I think it's gonna be delicious if it bakes. If it bakes out. Well, we'll see, guys. Because at this point, we have an absolute mess. You want to try these sticks before we keep baking this? Try what? 
putting these six in before we keep baking this? <laughs> yeah, let's try these six. Okay. You gonna put my blindfold back on? No, I'm And just... I put it in? Okay, so there's the six that we're gonna attempt to bake. I think it's like, oh, the instructions are underneath all of this. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. Okay. All right, guys. We will be back to show you what they look like here in about 12 minutes. I gotta pee. Ah, are that the cookies, babe? Mm-hmm, that's the cookies. Oh, shoot. Oh, they're done. Alexa, timer off. What do you think? Well, they're big boys. What do you think? They look great. <laughs> Oh, I think they look good. Yes. Okay, let's let them cool and then we're gonna try one, okay? Mm. Okay, let's try it. Oh, here you take this one because it's bigger, I feel like, and easier oh, to handle. Chocolate. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Okay. Um, go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, not too bad. What do you think? I think it's perfect. I think it's ooey and gooey and chocolatey and sugary mm -hmm. and the best of both cookies all wrapped in one. That's what I think. Okay, go show them. Look at this cookie. Oh, it's so good. And that consistency. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Mmm.